and how was your Independence Day? I hope you declared it. Hope you decided to get yourself back onto your own two feet. Hope you've had a lot of great barbecue. I hope you had a great time. And furthermore, hope you have a great day today. Of course you know what day it is. It's straight tarot Tuesday, so we're just going to do straight up tarot cards today. Uh, no oracles or anything like that. Hopefully we'll be back on track this week because I think um, last week I was only able to do a short video where I threw up three cards and gave you that and then I was off and then I screwed up Runecasting Wednesday so we ended up having two uh, traditional Thursday style readings and then then we finally got back on with, um, with Friday. All right, and I forgot my tea. I'll be right back. Here we go. You know, that was a good place to pause if you needed to go get your own. I hope you did. But anyway, um, not much to really announce. I just want to kind of jump right into it. Should we do that? Alright, here we go. Starting with you. Queen of Swords in Reverse. When the Queen of Swords is upright, she's usually the one that cuts through all those layers of BS that have been set in front of you. She's your bozo filter, basically. But this time she's in reverse. And I have to wonder why. Because anytime I see a Queen of Swords in reverse, it always makes me kind of, you know, raise an eyebrow there. And unfortunately, it looks like there's some deceit going on. This isn't so much your deceit, but it could be. This could be you. De this, I think, is more you deceiving yourself. Deceiving yourself is never a good thing. Not everything appears as, as it does on the surface. Well, let's face it. The backs of these cards look rather boring, and this particular deck has been this way for years. Well, once you flip that card over, there's a message there, isn't it? You can look at the back of the card and go, hmm, not my thing. But if you take the time to flip it over, you find a lot more, don't you? Exactly. So, what's going on in the, in the mind right now? <clears throat> Got a King of Cups. Uh, six of Pentacles and a Four of Pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> so, see a lot of emotional control here. This is almost coming across as cold logic. And of course, this is where you're very generous with what's on your mind. Now, being generous with what's on your mind, having that cold logic, it can come across as kind of just blunt, right? And really holding nothing back. It's not a good thing, but it's also not a bad thing. Because what you have with 
the mind right now is you have so much that you're willing to share but it's coming it's coming across a little bit like too much kind of learn to dial it back a little bit and of course you're not doing it from a place of emotion you're doing it from a place of logic but it's coming across as very cold again it's not necessarily a bad thing it's not necessarily a great thing but it can be a little off-putting and you you have to understand where that comes from okay so let's move on to the physical in the body right now we have a seven of swords in reverse we have a six of wands in reverse ten of swords in reverse or if upright rather sorry that's not a lot of stealth going on you know this is you're you're kind of coming full uh, full frontal right you're not going under the table and then coming up from behind you're you know shove on straight forward I like to tell people this especially if they enter into any kind of uh, relationship with me shoot straight with me because I'm gonna do it with you sometimes that does not leave you sitting in the winter circle you may be right but sometimes it will cost you certain victories let's face it sometimes you need to lose a battle in order to win the war right and then there's this and it's which army did you piss off Rasputin because with this one I am seeing betrayal And that's what's happening in reality all around you right now. Or at least that's the way it seems. And kind of linking all this with the uh, Queen of Cups, a lot of what I'm seeing right now is you're coming across as a bit of a know-it-all. You're coming across a little insufferable here. I mean, you're right, but it's also, um, what's that old saying? Sometimes it's better to be happy than right. And there we go. We're losing, you're losing battles. Maybe you'll win the war, though, here in the spirit. We have a page of wands. Got the hierophant in reverse. And I've got a page of swords in reverse. Okay, so you've got the message. You got it loud and clear. But here's the thing. You're not exactly authoritative on it. You're not delivering it from a point of authority. In fact, <clears throat> given into that uh, self deceit, you know, the you may think you have a vast encyclopedic version of that knowledge, but the, the fact of the matter is, it's, it's in how you relate it. And you got to take responsibility for how you relate that message. So in short, I can see you playing the messenger today. work on your approach. Your approach is going to mean everything. And you may have you may have to have somebody kind of screw up a little bit. Let them. It's fine. You know, sometimes sometimes the greatest teachers are just kind of like like letting others screw up. I'll give you a good uh, good point I saw from a movie I watched this weekend. There's a movie, 3,000 Miles to Graceland, and it has uh, Kurt Russell and Kevin Costner in it. And um, Kurt Russell's driving around with this uh, kid, you know, probably about, I don't know, kid's probably about maybe like 10, 11 years old. And uh, 
kid looks over at Kurt Russell's uh, cigarettes and he grabs one, lights it up, and he's starting to smoke on it because he's seen Kurt Russell do it this whole time. Kurt Russell reaches over, he snatches that cigarette, and he goes, you know what? Filters are for wusses and guys my age, and he literally rips the filter off and tosses it out the window and hands it back to him. So this kid starts uh, smoking on it. And in the very next scene, the kid is uh, hovered over the guardrail of a bridge, puking over the side of the bridge. Kurt Russell standing right behind him, and he's uh, smoking, and he goes, want another one? I think you can get the meaning from that one. Again, you may be right, but it's all in your approach. And sometimes you do have to let someone screw up. You have to give them room to uh, integrate the knowledge. So try not to be too overbearing today. Because we can all come across that way. Alright? More, more be ready to jump in at crucial moments. Anyway, got to get this thing rolling. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Just remember, I love you all. Take care of yourselves and each other. Always do what lights you up, and as always, shine on. And join me on High Notes, because I'm going to pull in a tarot card for there, too. I'll see you tomorrow.